What happens when you throw a bear, a whale, and a dragon all together in the same room? I don't know, but let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Puzzle Theory. I am Max, your host for Puzzle Theory. Today we have a very interesting three-way battle of the brands. We have the FX Schmidt Fire Dragon Puzzle up against the Sherlock's Whale Shape Puzzle, literally called the King of the Ocean. Let's see if he can be the King of the Puzzles. Up against the Mad Cap I Am Grizz Bear Puzzle. Which one is gonna win? I don't know. We're gonna dive into this. For today, there are only going to be three categories. So first impressions with the puzzle, there's gonna be the overall experience of building the puzzle, and then finally, like a last impressions, thoughts on the final image category. Doing this because two out of three of the puzzles are actually recycled puzzles today, so they did not come new to me. The FX Schmid one, if you don't know, they actually don't exist as a company anymore. They were absorbed by Ravensburger quite a while ago. Most of their puzzles are actually out of print and you have to find them on places like eBay, which means that the price can vary for them. So I just, I don't feel like it's fair to do a price slash value category for that. Not to mention the whale Sherlock is fairly hard to come by. It's kind of for the same reason. The price is really gonna vary just depending on where you are for that one more than it normally would like for regular puzzles. I mean, all puzzles are gonna vary just based on your region but in this case it's a little more extreme as well as that one is also a recycled puzzle to me so it's it's too hard to say what the boxes would have been like in their original true new in box condition the i am grizz one is a brand new one and i do have some thoughts as to the box itself and all that good stuff it will not count towards its final score but it was just interesting enough that it was worth mentioning so today like i said there will really only be the beginning middle and end thoughts and then those are the only things that will count towards the final score so let's get into this and see what we can see who will win the battle of the brands today all right, let's kick this thing off with initial first impressions. All righty, so first up, we have the FX Schmidt Fire Dragon Puzzle. The box does have a full picture of the finished image, which I do really appreciate. I think it makes the puzzling itself so much easier, especially if you want to see what the end product is going to look like. You have a reference to go from. The pieces do have the blue linen backing, which is great. The pieces are a sturdy, good size. They have a really good thickness to them. They should make for very, very easy handling. One thing I do want to point out, there are all these really cool, unique shapes in it that are going to make it so much fun. They're all different cuts. They're going to form cool little cute images, which I think is just amazing. This one in particular, it does look like they have a very defined border. So you see how some of the pieces have a purple edge to them. That is the edge pieces of the puzzle. And then of course we have all the different regular shapes as well too, which you would basically find in any traditional ribbon cut puzzle. Next up, we have the Sherlock's King of the Ocean puzzle. <laughs> I love that it literally says that on the side of the box. Let's see if it can be King of the Puzzles as well too. Don't judge the box too harshly. This is a recycled puzzle to me. I gotta say, frankly, I think it's actually still in pretty good condition considering I have literally no idea where this puzzle has been for most of its life. First impression of the pieces is that they are kind of small and a little bit thin. The image itself seems kind of blurry on the pieces. Hopefully as we assemble it, that problem kind of goes away and when you look at it as a master image, it still looks pretty good. Looks like there's lots of fun colors, really good texture to the pieces. I'm really excited about this one. It does look like they have fun little shaped pieces, which are gonna make for some really unique challenges throughout the puzzle, just like the dragon. There are also some of the random wonky cut ones, which will accommodate for the different random shapes. And then of course we have the regular normal-ish type pieces as well as the pieces with the defined border. I love that two out of three of the puzzles have chosen to do this. I think it'll be extremely helpful with sorting and with putting the actual image together itself. Next up, we have I Am Grizz by Madcap. 
first impressions of the box are pretty cool. I love the unique shape to it. I think it's really neat. I am a little sad that there's not a full assembled picture of the finished product on the front of the box, but hey, I am really glad that on the back of the box they chose to include what the actual size of the pieces looks like, because looking at the front of the box, the pieces look a little small, and that was a little intimidating for me at first. And it looks like there's these really cool fun facts on the back of the box too. Oh, that's such a neat little touch. I love that. Now that we're in the box, oh, this is such a cool little pamphlet. I love the little pamphlet of the fun facts. That's amazing. That gets bonus points for that. I know I said the box doesn't count. That counts really more towards my first impression that this is gonna be a really cool puzzle. I think that extra mile is amazing. And it's worth noting, they, they include this little part that shows off all their different puzzles. I didn't realize they had such a cool variety. That's a lot of different piece counts. And it looks like they have some really cute ones for kids too. Oh, I love that. And on the back of the Fun Facts pamphlet, there is, of course, the full poster-sized end result, which is pretty cool if anyone likes to work with the poster and know exactly the image that they're trying to put together. This is an extremely helpful tool. So this doesn't count towards points with the end result because it's just impossible to tell with the other two how much puzzle dust would have been in the box at the start with them both being recycled. But it is worth noting just for curiosity purposes, there was a pretty decent amount of little shavings that came out of the bag. So I'm not really seeing any funky shapes with this one, which I'm a little sad about. It looks like for the most part, they're all kind of very traditionally cut pieces with like a few little funky twists and turns that are kind of similar to random cut, but no fun inside shapes. There is also no defining edge for the edge. However, it does seem pretty immediately apparent what is and isn't an edge piece because even the funnily cut randomy shape pieces, when like that you can very clearly tell that they don't have a flat enough edge that would lead to being an edge piece. And there are some edge pieces like with bear's ears and stuff that seem like they're just kind of really jaggedly cut, but still also very clearly an edge piece. The piece quality seems pretty decent. They're good size, they've got good thickness. Here is a three-way piece comparison. As you can see, by far, Sherlock is definitely the thinnest. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's half the thickness of the others, but it is pretty darn close. By far the smallest pieces too. Like Some of them are almost half the size of the other two. Grizz and Dragon are both extremely comparable in both size and thickness. They're essentially the same kind of handling for both of the puzzles, the only difference being the actual cut of the pieces. So initial first impressions with the Fire Dragon overall were very, very positive. The pieces seemed really sturdy. The blue backing is always a plus. You kind of know you're in for a good puzzle when you see a colored backing. Nine times out of 10, it's a pretty safe bet. They seemed really thick, good size to work with, seem like they'll click together really, really well. Overall, just a very good first impression. The, the image on the pieces themselves, while they're individual pieces, is very clear, impressively detailed. For all those reasons, I gotta give it a solid 8 out of 10 to start out. Moving on to the whale. First impressions with this one, overall, not as strong out of the gate, I gotta say. <sighs> The size of the pieces was a bit of a detriment, not a great initial first impression. They do seem kind of thin and difficult to work with in terms of that. Looking at the images on the pictures as just individual pieces, they do seem kind of blurry. The picture could be crisper. Just not, not a great start, but not the worst either. Like the pieces all still seem in really good, uh, really good condition. They seem like they're a decent mid-tier quality piece. So I gotta say, like not the best, not the worst. A six out of ten to start it off for the whale. Alrighty, last but not least, we have the I Am Grizz Mad Cat puzzle. Initial first impressions of the puzzle itself, although it does not count for anything, I, another massive pat on the back for the really cool box design. I really think the addition of the fun facts and things, such a cool low budget way to really add just like that little bit of extra pizzazz to your puzzle. So gold star to you, Madcap. I think that's a really cool thing to do. Keep that up. 
Moving on to the part that actually counts for scoring, the pieces themselves. Was not impressed with the actual quality of the pieces in terms of the image. They, it seemed really blurry, it just seems a bit like a murky mess. I hope overall, like when you get to the span of the entire puzzle and it looks like a giant poster, the quality will improve. But as an individualized piece, not crazy about it, really not starting out that strong. However, that being said, the size and thickness of the piece is pretty good. Like all the pieces are pretty cool. They're, they're really nicely shaped, really durable. Not like the best quality in the world, but also like not the worst. Out of the gate, seven out of 10. Next up we have the overall experience doing the puzzle. So as far as assembly goes for the dragon, as you can kind of see with the crystal ball here, just based on the way that the pieces go together, they are a little bit loose, a little bit wiggly. Based on the backing, not quite the clickability that I was expecting out of them. It does allow for some false fits, particularly where there's not all the fine details to work with for you to really know, yes, I have the correct piece in the correct home. So certain areas of the puzzle can be more challenging than others. Still absolutely beautiful image quality, both in the pieces when they are individuals and while you're assembling it. There's a ton of good texture and good color breakup, which makes this puzzle both challenging as well as fun. The awesome and yet not entirely foolproof design of the purple outside edge. It both helps based on sorting purposes. You know your edge pieces are your edge pieces, but as you can see here, just because it defines that does not mean that they necessarily snap together as you would traditionally expect. Sometimes you do need inside pieces from the puzzle to be able to properly join them together. Sometimes it's more obvious than others what those pieces are. You can get like a small teeny tiny little corner of purple. It's kind of like, ah, you go with my edge pieces. Other times it's a little more obscure and you got to do a little bit more work. The fun shapes, look at how cute they are. Basically an exact replica of what the puzzle will look like itself when it's finished. They're three little mini dragons and they work inside the actual puzzle itself. Isn't that cool? Overall, I'm impressed. I do wish that the pieces weren't so wiggly though. I really thought I expected kind of better out of it, to be honest. Moving on to the assembly of the whale. So I chose the tail to kind of showcase because it not only shows you how a unique piece comes together for this puzzle, but also the overall building of this one in general. The small pieces are slightly challenging to handle, but the good color breakup does make up for it a little bit. Yes, the pieces are slightly blurry, and as the image comes together, it does kind of offset that when you look at it as a whole. One of the most unique things about this unique puzzle is that instead of choosing the exact same fun shape as the dragon did, it actually has three different unique shapes in them. Look at how cute they are. I love that. That is like adding a uniqueness to your uniqueness that I think is phenomenal. Very defined border. The pieces all fit together extremely snugly. I would actually say better than the dragon. The only exception being some of the weird shapes, of course, but that is just because you're accommodating for flat edges inside of a puzzle. It's hard to interlock that fully. Oh, Grizz, I wish I had better things to say about you. You started off so strong with your cool box and your nice sized pieces. However, this fishtail, <laughs> this is where it got me with the puzzle. Not only are there spots on this puzzle, like here in the middle of the bear, where you can kind of see that it's just murky. It is not a lot of fun at all to put together. There is no definition in the lines. It's a bit of a nightmare. The pieces do snap together nicely. That does help. I didn't find a lot of false fits when I was doing it. Still a decent amount just because of the difficulty differentiating the colors, but what are you gonna do? It's this fishtail. I can't get over it. When I put the first top piece in, I honestly thought that it was a false fit. It does not properly line up to the edge. The colors are completely different. And as you continue to assemble it, it does become apparent that yes, it is supposed to go there. It's just really off in both color quality as well as fitting snugly in the home. You can kind of see how it does continue into the white of the water as well. 
One thing to note with the edge of this one, although it does not have the defined edge, as I was mentioning with the other two, nor the fun shapes, you do notice that each edge piece does join directly with the one next to it just like any other traditional edge piece to a puzzle would. For the most part, this was a fairly positive experience all around. Who doesn't love a shape puzzle? They make for such a unique adventure. First up is the dragon. So, gotta say, pretty pleasant experience putting this together. The image, amazing. I love the color breakup. I love that they differentiate what their edge pieces are. I really love the addition of the fun little funky shapes inside the puzzle. That's like this cool little almost Easter egg that just makes the whole experience so much more interesting. I think it was such a fun, fun puzzle to do. Only real issue would be just the way the pieces click together. There could be a small percentage of false fits, particularly in areas like the glowing ball kind of thing where it's not quite as clear where the piece should go. That can lead to some challenges. I do wish that the pieces fit a little bit tighter together. Overall, I'm still like really impressed with how well it went together. Although I do have to drop its score just for the fact that I think, I think the pieces could have been a little bit better, like a little bit better interlocking. Middle to high end of the road, like it's like a seven out of 10. It's pretty good. Like, moving on to the whale. This one was an interesting one. I was a little concerned with the piece size and the thickness right out of the gate. But again, I absolutely love and have to give them points for the fact that they differentiate what the edge pieces are. I love, love, like extra points for this one, that not only did they include the unique shapes, they chose three different unique shapes. So rather than using three of the same, like the dragon puzzle, they went a different route and did include three as well, but they were all different and unique. And I think that is really, really fantastic. And I think that really adds something to the puzzle. Again, just really just the overall piece quality that kind of dropped its score a little bit here because otherwise it was a really pleasant experience, like really good color breakup, really fun image to put together, really unique challenge. A mid to high range, I think again for this one, seven out of 10. I am Grizz Madcap. I had such high hopes for you. Appearances can be deceiving. Something that starts out really good, it, it really was, it was that false fit by the fishtail. I just had such a hard time not being annoyed by that. I, I, I did enjoy putting the puzzle together, but there were parts where with the murkiness of the pieces, it felt like it was this never ending hill that I was climbing. Part like the putting the fish together minus the issue with the tail was enjoyable. The water itself was not bad. The colorful back of the bear, not too bad. It did have better color breakup that way than I was expecting. And the piece quality overall, like, it was it was decent. Like it snapped together a lot better than I expected, but just not the most overall enjoyable experience. And they didn't necessarily differentiate their edge pieces kind of like the others did. I do think it's really cool that regardless of putting like a different border in, that you, each edge piece really does just fit right into the next. So it's basically kind of just like a traditional puzzle. Nothing cool and unique, no cool little unique images inside the shape puzzle. It is a cool shape overall, but they didn't go that extra step to just add something really cool to a unique shape puzzle, which it sort of seems like every other brand does kind of do. Not super strong. Unfortunately, I, I really, I, I feel like I gotta go with a five out of 10 on this one. I wish it could be higher. Maybe in like, I, I might be willing to try their brand again in the future. Maybe the misprint was just a one-off. It's hard to say off of just one puzzle. I mean, everyone deserves a second chance but this go around just was not for me. Alrighty, final category. Final thoughts, last impressions on the overall image. Look at the absolute beautiful end result with this dragon puzzle. Crazy attention to detail, beautiful image quality in both the individual pieces as well as the end result of the actual puzzle. Incredible detail, each and every piece Every part of the image is defined, it pops. Despite the wiggliness of the pieces, this puzzle is shockingly durable. 
I'm not going to try to pick the whole thing up just because of the awkward shape, particularly at the tail. But look at how well it's holding up when you pick up the crystal ball area. Based on how wiggly the pieces were, I did not think it was going to go that well. Overall, I can't say enough good things about the end result of this puzzle. It's beautiful, whether it's close up, far away. I can't get over how amazing it is. Our friend Mr. Whale, king of the ocean, potentially not king of the puzzles, though. The end result, though, is still stunning. For the blurry quality of the individual pieces, the final image comes together into a beautiful work of art. Although the details are not as defined as the dragon puzzle, stunning image. I love all the different colors, everything that's going on in here. It's a beautiful ocean scene. And again, same as the dragon, shockingly durable. I would not think that pieces would hold up as well based on their size, as well as with the funky images in them. Again, I'm not going to try to pick the whole thing up. That's bad news bears. I do think that it would go better than the dragon because it is a solid shape but it's too stretched out by itself for me to attempt to do all by myself. And Grizz. Overall, when you look at the end result, it does come together to form a nice poster, and the image does become clearer and crisper, rather than with the individual, very blurry, distorted pieces. All in all, I have to say, the pieces snapped together better with this one, I think, than the other two. The whole puzzle seems a little bit more durable. Let's see what happens when we try to pick it up. Okay, um, I can admit when I was wrong, that was a silly idea. Uh, don't try that at home, kids. Final thoughts, last impressions on the overall image. Once again, starting out with the dragon. Overall, this is the highest score that I've ever given on a Battle of Brands. Take that how you will, this is the second video of the Battle of Brands. But like overall, the dragon knocks it out of the park. Super beautiful image, whether you're close to it, far away from it, Gorgeous picture, incredible colors, stunning detail, and shockingly, I cannot believe the durability of the final puzzle. I mean, again, it's too much for me to pick up by myself without it being glued or some kind of support just for the shape of it alone. I thought for sure it was going to crumble regardless touching like one or two pieces. It held up surprisingly well. For all of those reasons, phenomenal job, 9 out of 10, no questions asked. On to the whale a shockingly pleasant ending. I like really, again, worried about how the pieces kind of were and the image, but overall the end result, again, similar to the dragon, super stunning. I love the colors. I think overall, once it kind of came together, the murkiness of the pieces kind of went away a little bit and looking at it as a final image, really beautiful, really gorgeous ocean scene. They did a great job putting that together. And again, shockingly durable. I did not expect with how thin and how small those pieces were that I was gonna be able to pick that puzzle up at all. I wish I could have picked up the whole thing. I think uh, between that one and the dragon, it, it would have gone better trying to do it as just me, but I don't really want to lose pieces. So, I mean, like overall bonus points because it went way better than I thought. Pretty solid, super strong ending. Overall, impressed. Happier than I thought I was going to be with the end result. Eight out of 10. Beautiful job, Sherlock's. Alrighty, we are back to our mad cap grizz. My final impression, I, I kind of taking a step back from it. I, I feel better about it as an end result than I did during the puzzle. Not as happy with it as I was when I first opened the box still. I don't think I could put that genie back in the bottle. The end image, to give it a little bit of grace when you look at it as a whole poster a little bit further away, it does come together nicely. The pieces don't look murky. But overall, as a puzzling experience, not the greatest. Surprisingly durable as well, too. Its pieces did snap together better than either of the other two. So, I mean, really the only thing that went wrong with that pickup challenge, other than, you know, it was clumsy me picking it up, I think if there was more support in the general fish area, I think that would have gone overall better and I would have been able to pick up the whole thing with the oopsie doodles, but still like really better than I kind of expected it to go. Overall, I think I could give it like a six out of 10. 
So here we are at the final scores. This was actually a very close race. What happens when you put a dragon, a whale, and a grizzly bear in the same room together? Who ends up on top? The dragon does! By exactly three points. Super duper close. Sherlock, you came in second with your whale puzzle with a total of 21 points. Fan freaking tastic job. Way to overcome those small pieces in the end. Grizz, you made a solid A for effort attempt. I still think that the fact that it made a really cool little bear shaped puzzle is pretty cool, but you only managed to scramble together 18 points, which was just not enough to beat either one of the other two. Overall, pretty solid challenge. I think I really enjoy the shape puzzle aspect of it. It just, it made everything really fun for this one. That's it for me today, friends. But hey, remember, today, that was just my theory. What's yours? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time.